Welcome to lecture number seven, element identification methods in CLNM web driver in Java. In this uh, lecture, you will learn how to identify the elements on the given web page using various location uh, strategies or the element locators like ID name, tag name, class name, link text, partial link text, expat CSS. Out of that, this link text and partial link text, this uh, element locators are used to identify only the links and not nothing else. Then uh, we this uh, using this id name tag name class name this uh, element locators is very easy and simple all you have to do is just inspect the elements and then find the elements which has got those attributes like if you want to identify the element uh, which has got the id attribute you can use this id element locator then if similarly if the element has got the name attribute you can use the name locator similarly if you uh, have the, uh, got the class attribute you can use the class name and this tag name is used to identify the elements using the tag name actually so what is the tag name tag name is nothing but uh, let me explain that with example if you go to this website and then inspect this username we will notice that uh, this username is the input tag uh, this tag is input because it starts with this this is the HTML tag and that you can use to identify the element so let us start with this uh, tag id name tag name and this expat and css uh, we will be looking in the next lecture because it is uh, very important as well as uh, it's a little bit complex as well so i'm gonna leave that into the next lecture so let us start with this id name and tag name and class name first of all so let us say you want to identify this uh, we are on this web page softpost.org slash selenium test page and then if you inspect this first name element in the chrome browser you will see that this element has got this id as fn so you can identify the element using the id fn so you can notice that in this code i have got this I navigated to this website and then i use this syntax driver dot find element this method is used to find the element and then over there you have to use this by dot id fn so here you give the id attribute as fn and then use the send kiss method to send the data into that input box and if you want to identify the element using the class you can use the class name so here you can notice that if you inspect this element this element has got this id uh, sorry class as entry title and that's why I've used as entry title over there and then I use this get text method to get the text in the text of that element and similarly uh, to identify the elements with the name you can use this syntax by dot name gender so if you go to that website or webish this particular element has got this name and gender we have used this uh, link text and partial link text to identify the links in this particular web page. So if you want to click on this say flights, you can use this link text as flights. And uh, there are two ways to identify the links. One is link text and another is partial link text. So if you use the link text, you have to give the full link name. And uh, if uh, you want to use partial link text, you can use this partial uh, name of the link see for example if you want to click on hotels instead of typing the hotels you can type the hot so here you can notice that i have used this link text as flights and the partial link text as hot so instead of uh, putting hotels i have used the hot so it will click on ho hotels link so what i'm gonna do is just run this particular program and then uh, this code is gonna visit this url serenium test page then uh, in the id whose uh, the input box whose id is fn it will enter this hello and then it will uh, get the text of this element whose class is a3 title then it will click on gender and then it will navigate to the mercury welcome website and then it will click on the flights link and then click on hotels link so let us just run this program And you can notice that uh, we have already covered this lecture number seven. This only expat and CSS are remaining. In this element loss, they are very powerful in identifying the elements. Sometimes if the element doesn't have the ID attribute or the name attribute. So as you can see, the code is uh, compiling. 
and then uh, launch the browser then first of all it will go to the selenium test page on the softhost.org then enter this hello in the first name then it will click on the mail it is already clicked so we will not see any change it will also operate the title of this particular page and then it will go to this mercury's uh, flight application then click on flights link as you can see it is clicked on the flights link and it is under the construction so as you can see in the output uh, it has printed the title of the page as serenium test page so that is how you can identify the elements using the id name class name tag name and also uh, use this link text and the partial link text to work with the links i hope you enjoyed this uh, lecture on the element identification and stay tuned for the lecture on the expat and CSS, which is very interesting as well as you will also learn a lot of things about uh, how to identify this uh, like expats or css in the uh, google chrome browser thank you for attending this lecture